Hey, what's happening? Good one, Sir James coming at you guys with another video. Today is Monday, and I gotta say is that today at work was pretty exhausting, but it did get better because I received a package in the mail courtesy of PDP once again. If you're not too familiar with PDP, PDP is a company that makes a lot of third-party accessories for PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, anything from charging products and to basically controllers or even headsets. And of course, they also have the collectibles that have been growing rapidly throughout this year, which is the Pixel Pal series, which they've been sending me a lot of. And they actually sent me four more to showcase to you guys. And these are, again are before they initially come out so I can't wait to share with you guys so I had to go there and write down the information as far as when these release so let's go ahead and kind of go in order there really isn't a specific order because three of them come out on the same time while the other one doesn't so the one that'll be coming out here soon is from the Elder Scrolls 5 and we have the Dragonborn Pixel Pal and here is the side or the back I should say so we'll put him off to the side. Let's go ahead and get the rest out here. Uh, next up is the Flash. This guy looks really, really cool. So there he is. Uh, now the Flash will be releasing on October 24th. Next up, of course, is Superman. Check that guy out, he looks pretty neat. Now Superman will also be releasing on October 24th. There's that one. And last but not least, is the one that I told you my cousin was gonna be jealous that I got, and she is right now, and that is Wonder Woman. And she will also be releasing on October 24th, which is funny because um, the Wonder Woman movie actually comes out tomorrow on uh, Blu-ray and 4K and all that fun stuff. Which if you haven't seen the movie, I recommend you do because it's actually really good. I'm actually going to be buying it on 4K, so it's kind of nice to get this one just in time for the movie. So let me go ahead and um, go over these one at a time and I'll be showing you guys how they look in the dark during post-production. I'm actually going to wait for it to get a little bit dark right now. But, you know, that's the beauty of editing. I can just add stuff in there, whatever it is that I want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Wonder Woman here. Uh, it says, as a founding member of the Justice League and an Amazonian warrior princess, Wonder Woman is known for her strength, determination, and un unwillingness to back down from a challenge. That fact is true. I've seen it in the movie. It's, and, of course, also the uh, cartoons and all that fun stuff. It's the character first appearance in the All-Stars comic number 8 in December 1941. Wow, that was a long time ago. And continues to be featured in films, cartoons, and several DC comic book series. Wonder Woman is often used as an alias, as, wait, often uses the alien Diana Prince as her secret identity. Oh, okay, it's going over her secret identity. Now, it's not a secret because we all know what it is now. Let's go ahead and take her out of the package, uh, which by the way, I'm actually really excited too because these things that they keep teasing in the box is basically a, an adapter where you could replace the battery pack with a USB plug so you can plug it into a um, actual um, an outlet. Uh, these, as far as the pre-orders go, pre-orders are actually live for these little adapters. There's two different sets depending on what type of pixel power that you have because there's kind of two different ones as far as the battery pack goes. But these are available for pre-orders. They're like uh, seven or eight dollars. I'll have a link to those in the description down below. Hopefully I get a box for them because I need a bunch of these. But again, pre-orders are now live. It just doesn't have a release date yet. But I assume they'll be coming out pretty soon, I think before the end of the year. All right, so of course there is Wonder Woman. I gotta say definitely looks really good. I'm actually kind of surprised how well they could actually capture these as far as the detail goes and such a small little uh, well, pixel character if you will. Next let's go ahead and get to Superman here. It says, let's see, also known as the Man of Steel and the last son of Krypton, Superman has become an American cultural icon first introduced in June 1938. Wow these are way beyond my time because I was born in uh, 1990. Let's uh, see, imagine being born around the time when Superman you know, first came out, that'd be pretty neat. Let's see, in an action comic number one, he's easily recognizable by his blue costume, red and yellow as shield, chest, emblem, and the red cape despite being from an alien planet. 
Superman is raised as Clark Kent on Earth and works in the fictional city known as Metropolis and as a journalist for the Daily Planet. It's funny how some of these uh, superheroes become journalists or they become, you know, some type of press. You know, you got Peter Parker and all that. Actually, which reminds me, we don't have a Peter Parker uh, Pixel Pal character, do we? Or Spider-Man, I should say. We definitely need a Spider-Man now. <laughs> So again, another one of these little flyers. And uh, what about you guys? Are you guys excited for the uh, Justice League movie coming out? Let me know. So there is Superman. He's definitely, I, I forget which game it is, but I think it was something on the Game Boy or maybe the NES, but he, he definitely pops out and looks like a complete identical to one of his video game counterparts. I think it was from Game Boy. It's Game Boy or NES. I can't remember which one it was, but he definitely looks really, really good. Next up, let's go ahead and get to Flash. We're actually doing the superheroes first. <laughs> so here, actually, Flash is actually one of my favorite characters. Let's see. A staple of the DC comic book universe, the Flash defies the laws of physics with the superhuman speed and swift reflexes and a freak lap accident. See, for instance, my bad, I keep... I keep going too fast, and that's how I keep making mistakes while reading these. For, let's see, in a freak lab accident, forensic scientist Barry Allen was struck by lightning while doused with chemicals, giving him the superpowers of a speed force. Now he races up buildings across oceans and runs around the world at the light of speed as the Flash. And of course, there was also that one episode where it was the Flash for Superman in terms of who is the actual fastest man alive. And of course, I've also been watching the the Flash uh, Seasons episode, which I can't wait for, uh, well, we're on season four now, which will be actually starting in October. So again, perfect time because he comes out in October. Get this guy out. This guy looks also really, really good. So there is the Flash once again. And last but not least, we have the one Dragonborn from the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I wonder if we'll get other characters. Imagine they did one for the dragons. That'd be pretty cool. So anyways, it says, uh, Dragons long gloss in the passage of the Elder Scrolls have returned to tomorrow. And let's see. And the future of the Empire hangs in the balance as Dragonborn, the proclaimed hero born with the power of the voice, you are the only one who can stand amongst them. It is indeed true, which Skyrim has actually been making its way to on a bunch of platforms. It's actually going to be coming out on the Nintendo Switch, was actually a complete shock to me, but it's pretty nice to see that Nintendo is getting a, a lot of third-party support now for that Nintendo Switch. Get this guy out here really quick. Put the box over to the side. Don't worry, I do save the boxes. If you guys are wondering, I do save them. So here is of course Dragonborn. He's gonna look a lot better when he's lit up, for sure. And of course, here is the back. The back is basically the same. Basically, if you're kind of curious what they have on the back, it's basically the, uh, it just has like the name on it. It has PDP and all that fun stuff. Um, but anyways, there you guys have it. So once again, there is of course Dragonborn. Let's see, Superman. Of course, we got Wonder Woman, which is coming out tomorrow, and of course, The Flash, which season four will also be coming out in October. Like I said, these three will be releasing on October 24th, while Dragonborn here will be releasing at the end of the month. Pre-orders are now live for these, but like I said, if you also want to order the new battery pack replacement, where you can plug it into an outlet, I'll have a link to that in the description down below, but until then, thank you PDP, Pixel Pals, and of course, until then, I'll see you guys next time with our next future lineup.